Not far below the Earth's surface, there is a great natural boiler. The boiler or reactor is the planet, the heat source is the magma, and the fuel is water in the sandstone layer that the magma changes from a liquid to superheated dry steam. Dry steam from the subterranean cauldron is collected in pipes to drive turbines to create electricity. This clean, free energy source in the form of steam comes up through steam wells and passes through ducts to a steam turbine designed to handle gas at 355 degrees Fahrenheit and 100 pounds per square inch of pressure. The steam turbine powers an electrical generator. Spent steam passes through a condenser where non-condensable gases like hydrogen sulfide are routed through scrubbers and cleaned. The surface condenser also cools the steam and turns it back into water. The water then goes to cooling towers where about 75% is evaporated as part of the cooling process and 25% is injected back into the steam reservoir. Other gases that are not condensable are hydrogen, nitrogen, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, ammonia, mercury, arsenic, and radon. These gases are sent to scrubbers and cleaned to the point where they can be legally re-injected into the earth. The mercury is taken to a licensed hazardous waste storage facility and the sulfur is collected and sold for use in making fertilizer, for soil enhancement, and to fight mold on grape leaves. In the future, hydrogen may be stored for use in fuel cells. Geothermal power plants are highly reliable and can operate 24 hours a day more than 95% of the time. Geothermal energy offers a large source of secure domestic energy. In addition, sales of geothermal technology enhance U.S. trade and stimulate the economy.